Am I the asshole? For not giving my daughter who eloped cash for her honeymoon? My daughter Jane recently eloped with her partner of five years. My wife and I were excited when they got engaged to plan a wedding but she said she didn't want to rush setting a date or planning a wedding. This was understandable to us and we didn't want to rush them either, but we let her know we would contribute a set amount to her wedding when the time came. Then last week she tells me she has an announcement and that they actually eloped together because they decided they didn't want the big event with all the attention on them. This was a little disappointing but we understood, she's never been the type to want to be the spotlight so while we weren't expecting it, it wasn't the biggest shock in the world. What did feel like a shock is when she assumed we'd just give her that amount of cash straight up. She said they wanted to use it to take a month-long traveling sabbatical honeymoon. My wife and I told her the money we were prepared to give her was for a family event, not just for her to do as she pleases. If she didn't want a traditionally wedding, that's fine but we never told her we were just giving her say 15k for the act of getting married. We just didn't want her to have to spend a ton of her own funds on a wedding and since relatives and family friends would have presumably been there, we were happy to pay for it so she wouldn't have to. Two of my nieces have gotten married in the last couple years and it's a family event to us, not just about the two people getting married. This has caused a whole thing with her saying we went back on our word to her but in my mind we never told her otherwise. We did say if she wants a second ceremony family event to celebrate but wouldn't be an official wedding, we would sponsor that. If she had asked if she eloped or had a tiny wedding if we would give her some of it for a honeymoon, we may have considered it but it's hard to know because we were never given the request, they just went and did their own thing which again is fine. Am I the asshole? for not just giving her the cash we would have paid. Not the asshole. Your expectations and conditions are entirely reasonable. It was unreasonable for her to assume that she could simply take the cash option here. Not the asshole. You and your wife offering to contribute toward wedding expenses in no way means your daughter is somehow entitled to that money if a wedding does not take place. That's just entitlement on your daughter's end. Not the asshole. You said you would help with the wedding, not with the honeymoon. There's a difference in spending so much money for an event a whole lot of people would enjoy than giving it for two people only to spend. She didn't spend a penny because she eloped, I'm sure she has all the money for a good honeymoon without you giving her anything. Not the asshole. You were willing to pay for a wedding, because you wanted a wedding. She didn't want a wedding, which is fine. But you're under no obligation to just give her the money you would have spent on a wedding if there wasn't an agreed upon deal ahead of time. Not the asshole, the gift was conditional which you'd find your daughter made a lot of assumptions. Not the asshole. Your money, your choice on how to spend it. You said you'd help pay for a wedding, you didn't say you had money to just give them as a gift. Not the asshole you were willing to spend 15k to help her host the family and her friends, not just give her a gift of $15,000 cash. That's fair. Not the asshole. Paying for the wedding was to relieve a burden. It wasn't a cash gift. As there was no burden, there is nothing to relieve. Epic entitlement. Obviously not the asshole. You offered money to pay for a wedding, aka, a party for family and friends. You would have enjoyed that party, while honeymoon is just for the couple. I don't think your daughter is DA for having eloped, but she is for being entitled and assume that she could get that money without asking first if you'd agree with that. Not the asshole. It's your money and you said you'd help contribute to a wedding, not that you'd gift her money. Not the asshole. Your money was for a wedding, she chose not to do that which is her right. But she doesn't get to just decide that the money is now for something else. I'd be inclined to wonder if finding out about the money is why she eloped so they could take the trip on your dime. Not the asshole actually, a wedding is about the couple, but it's fair of you to say the event would be so that the family could celebrate the couple. Your daughter is acting entitled. My parents are the opposite. 
If I ever find a partner they told me if I elope they'll give me a large lump of cash as a gift in exchange for not having to pay for a wedding a lol it's interesting seeing the other side of that. Not the asshole cash was to help with the cost of organizing a large wedding plus the reception. Not for a one month holiday. What you said makes sense. Wedding cost money with more people and you would willingly to help some but now they didn't have the wedding, there's no need to help. Sure it'll be nice to help out but they're not entitled to your money like that. Especially 15k is a lot. Not the asshole. Not the asshole that money was to help with wedding costs like food, photos, venue, flowers, etc. They didn't have any of those. I could see giving her a gift of some cash as a wedding present, but not the full $15,000. Not even close. Not the asshole. You did not offer her $15,000. You offered to contribute $15,000 to her wedding, which she did not have. It's extremely entitled behavior to think that her parents should fund a month-long vacation for her instead. Not the asshole. You wanted to pay for a family celebration. The elopement negated the family aspect of it. Not the asshole but we set aside $15,000 to spend on each child's wedding or to help with down payment on a first home. Their choice. Oldest child owns a home with fiancé already and fiancé's parents are paying for entire wedding so he scores. Nice honeymoon for them after we pay for taxes, hotels and bar bill. Second child we gave $5,000 for band, paid for rehearsal and some other expenses so they just had $1,000 left in our budget for housewarming. Kid 3 is frugal. He's going to want the cash and skip the wedding costs. Okay by me. Nada. That money was for a wedding not for whatever. Not the asshole. You said you would commit an amount of money to the wedding. Not to the couple, not to an individual, not for anything in general. For the wedding. Not the asshole. She made assumptions and she should have talked to you if she was expecting you to bankroll a trip. Usually weddings take some time to plan and you have payments due at certain times. It's a little crazy to just to expect you to hand over 15k right away because they decided to elope yesterday. What if you didn't even have the funds available? Not the asshole your money and you already told her it was for a wedding that didn't happen. You're being generous about sponsoring a celebration still despite her entitled attitude. Not the asshole, my partner and I plan on eloping. I would never expect to just get cash for that decision. Not the asshole. But it's funny the different perspectives parents have on weddings. In the 80s, my grandparents offered my mom 10k towards her wedding or 10k or to be used as she saw fit. She chose the wedding. To this day, she says she wishes she just took the money and eloped. She has offered me a similar deal less money bc my parents are now divorced lol. I plan to take the money. Not the asshole. Your money your choice. She should acknowledge you don't necessarily have to pay for wedding or honeymoon. Not the asshole. The money was to be used to host a wedding. They eloped, which is lovely, and I'm sure you'll give them a wedding gift, but assuming they would receive something like $15,000 intended to host a big wedding for family to do with as they pleased is presumptuous.